Hey everybody and happy holidays or whatever you call this pagan ritual that it's all over the United States and the world. I want to show you something that I found that was very interesting. I think it's very important to understand this. Um, the name Yahweh or Jehovah or Yahovah, a lot of people ask me, oh you use that name and that's not really uh, the creator's name or this that, and the other thing. Um, the Dead Sea Scrolls, as far as I'm concerned, is the original Bible before it was even written. So when we see that his name is in the Dead Sea Scrolls uh, over uh, 2,000 times, uh, I think that's that's kind of important to show that that name, you know, is is pretty important, you know, uh, when it comes to uh, understanding who the actual Creator is or the Son of. Um, or, or the uh, father of uh, Jesus, so uh, and all creation. So I thought that was interesting. I want to show you the the logo for it and how the Hebrew lettering is. This is uh, one of David's uh, Psalms, I think, or Proverbs or something like that. But it tells you right here that it's found over. 2200 times in the Dead Sea Scrolls so to me that adds validity to that you know some people say hey you got Jehovah Witness I said no well you know I'm not a Jehovah Witness but I acknowledge Jehovah as a name uh, you know it makes sense to me since uh, uh, Jewish people never say it so I just like to um, show you what I found out here about Yahweh or Yehovah Pronounce it how you like, but there is a name to the creator of the universe, and Jesus is his son. This is the father. If you want to see more on this, uh, I'll put down the uh, link to it. It's all translations and everything. So, just wanted you to see it so I can tell you why I say Jehovah or Yahweh. So, it's very important to know that name right there. Bang. And it's everywhere. Now, if you don't believe the Dead Sea Scrolls, that's another story. Then, you know, do what you got to do. But I'm a Christian, and this is what I go by. So, have a good holiday, everybody.